Hi everyone and welcome to episode 17 of the Wool and Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty and I'm Tracy. This is our place on the internet where we talk about all the woolly things, knitting, spinning, crocheting, crochet. got a bit of embroidery today. Oh, okay. bit different. Yeah. So how have you been? Okay, yeah, not too bad. Well, apart from the trying to train the pups to walk nicely on walk the lead. Nicely. They're a nightmare. It's so hard to do. And uh, ended up in a &E <laughs> with a pop vein and a sprained wrist. That was just, that's just from them pulling. pulling. Yeah. And me trying to pull them back and get them back into position, which they were doing. They were doing it so well. Did you take them to classes or did no, it on YouTube? No, no. Me and Nath were just doing it together. We watched YouTube videos on how to do it. And, uh, but yeah, it's, I was, put, I must have been, I don't know whether I was hitting, because you're supposed to like pull them up. Oh, rather than And they're so heavy and strong that it, it was really, I could feel it starting to hurt. Yeah. But I don't know whether I was hitting it against the clasp right. of the lead. And I just all of a sudden felt a pop. And I was like, knife. You sent me a picture and you said pop. And I thought, you popped a vein, and I thought, no. Yeah. But you hadn't gone to Amy at that point, did you know? So, no. yeah. <laughs> no. I just looked down, and I was like, there was like this little lump on my wrist. And it started to grow. As we're, And Nathan said, you need to go back. I was like, no, we're just carrying on the walk. Stop telling me I need to go back, because it was panicking me. Yeah. I was like, let's get on with the walk, and we'll deal with it when we get back. And uh, as I was walking around, I kept looking. I was like, oh, no, this isn't good. And Nathan isn't one of those people that normally go, oh, don't ah, worry that's about fine, it. that's fine. But he didn't. He kept, and I was like, stop, tell him, tell <laughs> me it's fine because I'm panicking even more. He said, I can't tell you it's fine because I'm not sure whether it is. And it was only that you, I showed you the following day yeah. that you said, uh, I think you need to get that checked. Well, because it's your wrist and I was thinking with the movement, it's yeah. not a place, you know, Yeah. you want to muck about with if it had been sort of your knee or yeah. something. Yeah, then. but they thought that I had, when they saw it, they were like, oh, you could, from pulling, you can s splinter your bone. Yeah. So then she turned around and said, oh, yeah, if you, if you, if it's that, then we'll put it in a splint and that. And I'm like, no, because then I can't knit. I'm oh. quite happy with a sprained wrist because I can uh, use that as my exercises doing the knitting. Yeah, like a physio. Yeah. But um, luckily, yeah, I had the x-rays and that, and it was just a pop vein and a sprain. And you can still yes. knit. I can now. I couldn't for a few days, but it. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, you can see where the the vein popped. Bless, they are getting big though. I've just come in and they jumped up. I was sitting on the chairs outside and they run and jumped up they're at so me and heavy. I braced myself. <laughs> but they're twice the size now. So. <laughs> they are getting so heavy. But we've got these harnessed. Well, we didn't want them. They're um. They're not muzzles, but they go over the nose. Yeah. So you so that it turns their head rather than they, their. They walk well. It's a completely different walk. They literally that their walk. They don't pull with it. Oh, the nice. only thing they do do is try and get it off. So we've yeah. got to get them used to it on there. Um, and and it doesn't like restrict them or anything. They can still smell. They can still open their mouth. Well, it's important anyway, isn't it, with the walk, so they learn to walk nicely because then yeah, you can it, let them off the leads. Yeah, and yeah, and it's not enjoy. It's not enjoyable. No. It's not enjoyable at the moment walking them. We both like. Oh, I've got to go take the dogs for a walk. But recently, obviously, now they've got these things, it's so much nicer. Yeah. So yeah. Good. They're still little, aren't they? They'll learn. So. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Right. What should we start with? Um finished what are you wearing what do you want to talk about have you been up to anything oh me oh <laughs> go all about me <laughs> <laughs> well there was a um a pea hen oh, a no. white pea hen roaming the village i live in a village and we don't we don't have white peacocks here or whatever and there was yeah. just this giant bird roaming oh wow around the village um if you try and walk up to it it'd walk away but i don't know where it's from just oh, yeah, really? roaming around we get all kinds of animals um round our, our way. We've had yeah. hedgehogs and there's been an owl out the back. Oh nice. I saw a green woodpecker once, but this um yeah. White it was just a treat. Oh, yeah, wow. so the kids were going to school and they were like that look, look, they're just out outside the window, just there, roaming around. Blimey. 
you know, not bothered. They can fly, so I'm yeah. a bit worried in case I got hit by a car or something, but they yeah. can fly, so. Oh. So, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> that's what's been going on. Yeah. Right. The, the excitingness. Yeah, but the weather's nicer now. Yeah. It's cooled it's down cool a bit, down, so. And it's not as, not as sweltering. Although heat waves in um, Europe. Yeah, so I saw that. hopefully they won't come over. I hope it's said. Yeah, hope not. It's said so. Yeah. Right, should we start with what I'm wearing? Yes. So I finished my salty air tea by Samantha Gurin. I'll put it below anyway because I'm not sure how to pronounce her second name. Um I knit this out of Drops Flora, which is a um alpaca wool blend. wool blend so a bit warm for a tea for the summer but it's actually when we get days like this yeah it's perfect it's not too hot and it's such i love the drape of it i actually yeah that's the it's um, such a nice the alpaca in there as well yeah drops four you said yeah drops four Lovely. i think i only used four of them as well of the 50 grams yeah Perfect. But I love the look, it's got like a cable I'll get my hair out of the way. Cable texture and lace. Such an enjoyable pattern. I'm so pleased with that. Finally got one. The only thing I don't like is how close that like I like to it to be more close to my arm. Oh really? Yeah. So if I lift my arm Oh that it's away from it's it. It's like a, bit. a yeah. But other than that, I was about to say, how would that see? I'm not very good at altering. No, nor am I. So that's why I'm of still knowing, with it. yeah, what uh, what you no. do. So you're off screen. Oh, sorry. Less of the <laughs> hello. Less of the yoke. Then you'd have had to split the sleeve sooner. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's okay. Yeah, it looks it's fine. But I love it. So nice. Feels good. Quick knit, although I I only took a you break took from breaks. it. But the, yeah, the yoke literally flew through it. So was it complicated or easy? No, nope, really easy, really easy. I definitely I will make another one of these with the same yarn. Maybe, yeah, because it's cheap. Yeah, it's, drops. Yeah. I haven't made anything with the flora yet. Flora. Yeah, flora. Yeah. Yeah. I've I made the baby vest, didn't I? Was it in drops? Yeah, I think that was in drops. Yeah, but no, it's a nice. It feels good. Nice colour as well. <laughs> I don't know if you. It's <laughs> thundering outside. Yeah, oh yeah, where well, are my belly. <laughs> but yeah, so but yeah, it oh, was. Lovely. It's got short, uh, short rows at the back. I like how. Uh, like it's the just length. waist. Yeah. I can't remember if I added. I think I added a little bit of length. Oh, was it? A crop? It was real cropped, but. That's I mean, lovely. it's still quite cropped, but it's... Uh, I love that with the cables and lace. Yeah, and it's all all round the back as well, in the short rows. Yeah, well chuffed with that. That was, um, you was, was it a three millimetre needle you had to do that with? Uh, yes, I think. Yes, it was three millimetre. But you found that all right? Yeah, wasn't... yeah, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. I love but yeah, this. I really like it. It's always good to get a garment finished as well. Yeah, I've got I've got another two okay. finished. Lovely. Not not knitted though. No, no. But yeah, so that's uh, the salty air tea. Lovely. Right, what have I got? Okay. So I chose this last time as a whip, and I finished it now, which is the chicken wrap by anna bauer from the alternate rebellion book that i showed last time that is so amazing. i did it flat and then sewed it together which actually i was worried about mm. um and i put i was putting it off because i was thinking oh am i gonna muck it up at that bit but i just did a back stitch oh wow uh along there which yeah. worked out fine and then picked up all the stitches around for the ribbing this is in jameson's and smith and i think i talked about all the charts last time 
Oh, there's the snails. But I also did some duplicate stitch I for the those. snails. And... Oh, brilliant. Yeah, and one of those pops with the green. I love that combo of the yeah, blue and green. Yeah, that's really nice. Green. But some of the charts were from the book. Some of the charts were from the alternate book that we talked about before. Yeah. Um, some of them I just made up as I went along, but it was so fun. It looks do, amazing. But I'll show you it on. I need to pull you across. I might, I keep going <laughs> out of the screen, but yeah. Oh, that's well nice. So I love that. You can sort of have it like that or over the shoulders. Look at the ants. Um, yeah. Brilliant. And then that can be tucked in like that. The colours, I love the colours in that. I yeah. bet you just literally would just like, oh, I'll do, well, I'll do picked that one. The do that one. Yeah, I, I picked a selection of colours I was yeah. going to use. And then, yeah, I just thought, oh, I got, when did I last use the sort of cream? Yeah. And then keep going. But it was only this See, green. See, that's the only thing I would have trouble with. Oh, what, choosing the, the colours, colours together. and what colours to go together. Yeah. You could do anything, though. Even in the book, that was the whole point. It was saying, just pick whatever you really? want. Really? Yeah. And it was only that I was thinking of stuff I've already got that yeah. goes with it. Yeah. Um, no, I love that. But that was Jameson's of Shetland, the light green. But the rest were, yeah. I've never used Jameson's and Smith. It's um, perfect for colour work. Is it? But maybe some people would be sensitive to it. Oh, yeah. It's soft enough. So, yeah, it's soft. Yeah, it is soft. It's just but I a could see that. Of... Yeah, toothiness. People say perfect for this though. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, so just and added. Then you just the... added a rib. Yeah, all the way round. And Love that. it's probably my favourite thing I've made. Yeah. It was fun to make, and obviously being able to wear it when it gets cooler. That's so good. That's brilliant. Yeah, so much fun. So I think that's the only place I added the duplicate stitch. Yeah, the snails. That's brilliant. I'll have to put that chart. I, I made the chart for the snails. I'll have to add that to Instagram. But I love that as well, the sugar on. Yeah, that was from the alternate book. Was it? Yeah. Oh, and these. That was uh, Shetland patterns. I think that was uh, Mary Wallen. Maybe, actually. So good. So good. So, so yeah, clever. Took a Just while, but it's so fun. So fun. It does look so fun. And that keeps your mind busy then, doesn't it, as well? well yeah, it's only, exciting. Only... You can't wait to get to the next bit yeah. of what you're going to do. Or... Well, I was sort of did a chart a day and then didn't. Yeah. I didn't try to get it finished, but. Yeah. No. You know, some things you're rushing to get finished yeah. and you want to keep yeah. going, but it, you know. It was sad, probably sad to end, to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Which you don't normally get that when no. you don't want it to start. No. So yeah, Love it. the it's Chicken so Wrap by Anna Bauer. That's brilliant. Right. Uh, so on the last podcast, I showed that I'd done one hexagon and a bit of the... Uh, Granny Stitch Hexagon Cardigan by Craft and a Cuppa. Um, and I wanted to make one of these because I saw Kirsty's that she made. Oh. Show notes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, finally finished it. So my daughter, normally they're all nice and colourful, and but my daughter just wanted a plain colour. And yeah, I don't know if I, I can't go back anymore. Yeah, I don't know what's changed. No, I think something has gone out of the space a little yeah. bit. But yeah, it's got like a balloon sleeve. And I said on the last one about my other cardigan, oh, I'll never do a rib. I'd always pick up a, I'll a knit. A knit and I did I was like, no, actually, it does look good, that the works. crochet. Yeah. But yeah, it's just a cropped version. Well, not too cropped, but. You didn't add too much extra length on. No. Yeah, so she, she'll be happy now that she can finally have that. That's for Shannon. That's for Shannon. And I knit that out of... Knit? I always say that. Knit. I crocheted... Well, it took me a while to even think. What have you said wrong? Yeah, crocheted that out of uh, Stylecraft DK. I think I needed five. Pretty sure it was five. Uh, in the colourway oh, well. Cypress. Yeah. 
Do you know, I actually like it in the plain colour. Yeah, well, it's, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a completely different yeah. look to it. Yeah. But. No. I'm well happy. I might make a plain I was one. like, oh, it's yeah. really nice. Do you like it, Shani? Are you sure you like it? <laughs> she was like, yeah, so now I want to do a plain one. But yeah. Yeah, lovely. Well happy with that. They're so quick, aren't they? Did you watch the tutorial? Yes. I. I, I've got the pattern, but I didn't actually... I don't think I looked at the pattern at all. I think I just watched the yeah. tutorial. So good. And my mum's going to make one as well now. So I've told her, get on YouTube. Don't look at the pattern. It's easier to see it. A lot of the thing on the tutorial, it had make it this size for your size. So the good thing about that is you could do it in any yarn you wanted, in any yeah. hook size, because you were doing it to do this for X amount of yeah. centimetres. Yeah. I used a five millimeter i think for the dk and that was only because i would normally use the four for a dk yarn yeah but because she said a five i was like oh i'll just do a five drapier yeah and i think it i think it come out all right i think my join is not too bad either oh it's good the back i haven't blocked this or anything well it's acrylic anyway but the back i don't know when my join is because you done a different join didn't you yeah i back. didn't do the join um join as you go tutorial, sort of i think i slip stitched yeah yeah i did a slip stitch join i think you've done on some rows as well. of did you do rows of uh single crochet. single crochet first or double crochet and then i can't remember what you've done i might have done yeah i might have done a single crochet edge and then slip stitch that together i know on the cuff i just did single crochets yeah yeah oh yeah you yeah. did yeah and i think she done that actually her cuff wasn't this cuff. Oh. So I yeah, so I put this cuff. I used the cuff that I used in my um oh what was it called now? The scrappy scrap busker buster cardigan. That you showed last that time. I showed last yeah. time. Yeah, I used that cuff because I preferred that. No, I do love the the is that in uh do it in the back loop? Yes. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. I think I'd done sixteen or something. 16 yeah chain 16 and then down up down up down up all the way around through the back loop it comes out quite nice i love that blue sleeve yeah so it should be and you're now. gonna have to give it i know i know but they are so quick to do yeah so i might uh make myself another all right so actually, after I finished that um, cow, I lost my mojo a little bit. I think I was sort of thinking too much about what to cast on and what could follow that because yeah. it was so fun to yeah. make and everything. Um, and I'd left it a few days, actually went a few days without knitting. And then I thought, I'll just do some hand spun gloves, which I've done before. So these are the friends yeah. by Danny Sunshine. And this is in some hand spun that I got from I spun it, but I got the fiber from Forest Fibers on Itsy. I think she's changed her name now. I think it might be all the number two die D Y E and then the number four. I'll look it up. And then yeah, and see, anyway. but oh, <clears throat> so, so yes, I like the things. They 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 work up quick. I think this was under fifty grams of DK. Yeah, and actually, I added an extra ten rows on the uh, yeah. cuffs as well. Yeah, so that's this, brilliant, isn't it, for using up your stash or? That's it. I got this yarn had been looking at me in the glass cabinet for ages. And I was like, yeah. Originally, I was going to add this to the um, shifty. Yeah. The night shift yeah. that I made. But the yellow didn't go with all the other colours. So I love those. But I've still got enough to make another pair if I wanted. That's, like I said, this was, I've got about 50, 55 grams. That's so that's sort, sort of 100 grams. Yeah. And that was adding length on the yeah. bottle. Up to Good for leftovers. Oh, we've got cat's hair there. That's just part of it. Sure, now. it went a dog of hair. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they're lovely. I love how all the colours came yeah. out. Really fun. 
I think these only took uh, a couple of days as yeah. well. Knit one one yeah. day and the other. Although I save the thumbs until afterwards and I do them at the same time. Yeah. No, they're brilliant. Love those. But I made some at Christmas for niece and nephews, yeah. Jay's, yeah. Alice, Kate, Katie and uh, Freddie. Yeah. I've made some for my mother-in-law, some for my mum, some for my grandma. And I actually didn't have a pair for myself. Yeah. So. Great uh, Christmas gift. Yes. Because it's July now. Yeah. You've got to start thinking. Although I should, I, yeah, I should really start because all of November was. Yeah. That's it. If you start now, that's why I say Christmas in July. Yeah. Start now and you're, you'll be done. Then you can enjoy your November and your well, December. Well, that's it. Because for me, November is, I want to be enjoying autumn. Yeah. Really, and not thinking about Christmas no, yet. No, exactly that. But yeah. Brilliant. So, when I finish Shannon's, me saying, I'm, oh, I'm going to make another one. <sighs> Shannon's uh, granny, hexa uh, granny stitch hexagon cardigan, I decided to use up. Wow. So this, what, what was it? That was my, uh, what is it? Shh. <laughs> uh, double knit by James C. Brett. Yeah, James C. Brett. And I've had it for quite a while now. And I was like, oh, what should I do with it? What should I do with it? And I thought, I know. I love that. So I made myself the granny cardigan. I haven't blocked this. Because this, I think, has got wool in it. Again, done the same cuff. I think I made this one a little bit longer as well, or maybe not. You can see on this one the parts you've added. So you do yes. the hexagon and then yeah. you add and length. You add the length, yeah, so you can see. Oh, I love it. So, so good. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I love the colours. I think it was perfect for... And it was the self striping, so you just... Just... Yeah. And I only used two balls. Oh, I really like the join. Well, not even two balls. Was that the join oh, no, in the pattern? Three. Or you That's put the, the seam yeah, on I the inside? Yeah, I put the seam on the inside, yeah. not on the outside. Yeah. Which I think is quite good. Yeah, it's really smooth. But yeah, so I've got my own one now. Well happy with that. And I've used, up. I, I think it was three of these. Really? Well, that's what I've got left of. Were they bigger? They, yes, because you get more in these. No, I couldn't work it out because, so you get 550 metres in a 100 grams and it's a DK. How's that work? 601 yards. So that's like a light fingering, really, yeah. of the, of the meterage there. Yeah, see, I, and I used a four millimeter hook how does that compare this. to the dk one feel wise of wearing it drape i uh, prefer it definitely prefer it um so yeah it's 80 percent acrylic really and 20 percent the... wool there's the yeah, i suppose because so of the halo maybe it's finer but the halo makes it the dk yeah maybe maybe it's yeah because can you see the yeah, I love that. So but fun. yeah, you can see the halo on it. But yeah. What was the colourway? This was, it didn't have a, it's not oh, just a number. Yeah, SHO2. But yeah. I've got, um, oh, I've not got them here. But I've got another uh, two of these in a different colour. Now I keep thinking, oh, do I get another one? That's so fun. But yeah, to only use, well, two and a bit, two and a half, two and, and three quarters probably, of that. Which, where did you get these? They were, I think that was Hobby Craft. Was it? Yeah. I can't remember the price. Quite cheap, about four pound, I think. I'm pretty sure they were about four pound. That's amazing. So yeah, but yes, yeah, I just, as Love soon it. as I finished that, I was like. I'm you need to Yeah, and I started using a, um. I'll show you it later, but I've it was an Aran tweed. Okay. Um, just a cream with uh some nips in it, and I thought, oh, that would look nice. But because it was Aran, I didn't I didn't like the 
I started it and I didn't like the how big the clusters were. Yeah. And how it just felt too thick. Yeah. So DK I think is the way it's to a go. Good way, yeah. yeah. Unless you want a, a real quick crochet project. Yeah, I project. mean, mine ended up, although I used a DK, it was 160 metres for the 100 grams, which actually is more worth it. Yeah. You know, going on to sort of Aaron. So yeah. mine was even quicker. But no, yeah, I prefer, I do prefer the drape of this one. Love it. And I love that you've got one for yourself as well. Yay. So you made one for Shannon and then one Yay. for you. Yeah. And didn't have to keep weaving all, all the ends as well. No. Because it's in the self striping. Yeah. yeah. So I haven't had to do that yet. Because obviously no. with Shannon's. But I do want to make a multi. I've got so much Stylecraft. Yeah. In all the colours that I could quite easily make. It's just the oh, I hate sewing in ends. I've got an issue. Although with crochet, I'm not too bad. You I don't find have it's to be easier. As neat. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as uh, bad with crochet. So yeah, they're my gorgeous three finished objects. Love that. Right, what have I got? So obviously we've all been advertised stuff from Timu and they had an advert with those neck fans. Yeah. Um, when the heat wave was on, I was like, I need to get those. So me and the girls and John, we all went on Timu, so I didn't bought anything from there before and just had a look at things that we like the look of so we can get it all sent yeah. together. Mm and they had embroidery stuff so i got all these i've shoved them all in this little bag but i got all these embroidery threads i'm sure it was something like three pound but so all good. these threads and a hoop i'll show you the hoop in a minute but like i said i'd lost my mojo a bit and didn't know what to do and i wanted a color fix so i did a little um embroidery you know those things you draw when you're a kid and you yeah. just draw the shapes and you fill in the shapes? Yeah. It was kind of like that. I just started stitching and then I kept filling in the shapes. I'll bring it close. That's uh, brilliant. And I just did a uh, split stitch. So it's like the back stitch, but you come round and just split the stitch. That's so good. And had so much fun doing that because it was just... I didn't think about colours. I didn't think about what would go together. No. I just kept picking yeah. more. Um, I used three strands yeah that's brilliant that needs to go in like a little frame or something well what or i thought a... is i might keep making them using yeah. so i started another one i'll show you the one i've got here and this is the frame and again i, I swear this was like a, a pound or something the frame and so I've, good i've never used a rectangle frame yeah before so this time i actually drew some shapes on first right because the last one i just started stitching yeah um and again, oh, I did some satin stitch here. Um, but I'm not... I'm not That's fun. Yeah. It's, That's so much fun. So like a scrappy project. Yeah. I was kind of treating it like that. Yeah. I was just thinking, I don't... I don't care what it ends up like. No. It's about just making the stitches. And it's different hand movements as well, because I was getting some pain in my thumb. Um, yeah. And obviously, you, you push the stitches along your needles. Yeah. And with this, I just had to hold it. So yeah. I wasn't moving um that around but yeah that's brilliant and i'm keeping that so in. what are you thinking of making well i just end? thought if i if i keep making a few they're going to yeah. be all the same size and yeah. then i could put them together maybe three in a bigger frame yeah brilliant just put them in a frame yeah or i could make a little book out of fabric stitch it together like pages yeah. and then sew each one onto the page yeah brilliant but ultimately it's just something that's not Keeping you busy and it's yeah fun. Yeah, and I till I was waiting for my knitting mojo to yeah. come back. Yeah, so Brilliant. but keeping Love those that. in my um temporal spin gremlin bag. That's brilliant. We loved yeah. that when we saw that at the wall show, didn't we? Oh, well, yeah, you I nearly still, missed it, didn't you? I, I think still we said think because the the lady there said to me, "You can't get it wet." Yeah. And I was like, like, oh, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, gremlins. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. So I'm not that quick with things. No. Like <laughs> but I thought because the dye would run or something, the print. Yeah. So yeah, I won't even get embarrassed thinking about it. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. It's got familiar. like a um, rainbow zip as well on there. I must get some more project bags because 
a lot of my stuff stays in yeah tote bags yeah. or the wool warehouse yeah. bags and i love this one so much yeah that i, I need to start making one. some more yes i really i do. need to come around and make some as well i've got yeah. some really nice vintage curtain fabric like 70s oh we'll have to have a day where you come over and we make some bags yeah that would be fun yeah right what else have you got any more um, i've got no more fo's have you yes so obviously this is a bit of spinning i'll bring this round so obviously last time I'd spun this one. I can hear a fly. No, I think it's a... Oh, is it? It's a, a strimmer. Oh, I'm thinking, where's that fly? <laughs> it's a strimmer oh. out the back. I don't know if anybody can hear it. I, I thought, am I? I'm just panicking that there's a fly flying around. But um, so this is about 25 grams. And I started this last time. And I spun it to about a... So two ply but i spun it to about a fingering four ply weight and so i did the other one and this was merino and then once i'd done these again i was getting pain in my thumb and i thought i'm going to start spinning them dk yeah so i'll pass those ones to you i've spun up all the little minis that i dyed before so the black's about 50 gram the rest are like 35 grams and I did them a two ply DK sort of spun one a day and yeah so much fun but the others I thought I'd either use these with some neon that's the same weight that yeah. I spun before yeah or I could add the mohair white mohair to these and still use them with this yeah. and make it a DK that yeah. way but I think overall it's about 300 grams but I'll just stripe it and yeah, that one turned so out really nice. nice. I couldn't recreate these colours. No. Because I was just mixing stuff yeah. together. But And that one, look. So that's my tour de fleece spinning, even though I'm not on a team. I love that I wanted to spin these for it and I yeah. managed to. Exactly. I was really pleased with yeah. myself that I got it done. Yeah. No, they're really good. They've come out lovely. But when I did it a couple of years ago, I um, realised then that I don't know, maybe I just get bored easily. Because, like, spinning 300 grams of the yeah. same colour yeah. is harder to do than little, than little bits. Yeah. And you get it, yeah, that's it, you're getting it done quicker, aren't you? Yeah. As well. But, yeah, no, love those. So, I've still, still time to do more for Tour de Fleece. Like I said, I'm not in a team anyway or anything. And that was you my should. goal. You should. Why do you not do that? Could Because then if you've got in a team, then you... Oh, yeah. It, if I... I suppose sometimes, yeah, if you've got a deadline or you're doing yeah. it or then it makes you not want to do it. I'm just a yeah. bit of a brat. Someone telling you what to do. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm exactly the same though. I am exactly the same. And then I'll do less than if it's just for fun. Yeah. And that's why I can't do test knits. No. I can't do a test no, knit. No, I don't think I'd be able to. Because I, I don't want to do it when, you know, oh, I've got to get that done. It I, makes it into a chore. Yes. And not fun. Yes. That's how I see it. I know people love test knits, but... Because it keeps them... Um, what did you say? I can't remember the word people use, but yeah, it keeps them accountable for their yeah. knitting. So they yeah, do yeah. it and they actually get more knitting done because yeah. they're getting it done on time with me. Yeah, it'd probably have the opposite effect. Yes. Yeah, but no. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it by this date. <laughs> do it when I'm ready. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, it's not. It's, it's, probably, different. it's, it's different personality few... types, yeah. isn't it? yeah. And that's why it would be good to start Christmas knitting now. Yes. Because, again, you'll be like... You've got plenty of time, yeah. yeah. Love those. But they're fine. But so I think good. I might use them, you know, stripe them together in something. A cowl. Maybe I'll do a cowl and then change needle size or increase here. So, yeah. you know, so you've got the straight and then goes down over the shoulders yeah. and just keep going. Yeah. For that. I just want to have fun, like the embroidery. I think yeah. I'm not going to... Yeah. Think too long and hard about it. Just do something fun. Brilliant. So that's all the all the FAs? I believe so. Yeah. Brilliant. Should, Should we, we take yeah, a break? Take a break and come back with whips. Alright, let's go into whips. So I've got a few FOs. Uh half FOs. Nice. Half FOs. So the first one. 
is the Ravishing Socks by Nancy Wheeler. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, and I've done the knit these out of West Yorkshire Spinners, was it? Yeah, West Yorkshire Spinners. Well, half of one. Yes. Such a fun pattern. Really enjoyed this. We'll be casting on the next one today because... I love that. It's so nice. Is that a twisted? Is it a cable? It looks like a cable. <laughs> but is it like a twisted stitch? Um, Did you use a cable needle? No. So it's not? Do you know what? I can't even think if I used a cable needle now. This is how bad my brain is at the moment. No, I didn't. I think it's lift it over. Right, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, so it's not, a, I didn't use a cable needle, no. The pattern's on both sides as well. Yeah. And it's got a lovely... Ah. Oh. A rib down rib. the back. Or is yeah. that two oh, as go. well? Yeah. Oh, is it two or one? Uh, it's two. Two panels? No, one panel, sorry. Just one panel down the back. Oh, I love that. So Gorgeous. it just gives you a bit more, something else to do instead of just stuck in Oh, just playing on the yeah. back, yeah. Yeah, love that. I was watching Nancy the other day and she says she gets bored of just a plain vanilla. Of a vanilla, yeah. And likes to have the... And that's what I like about her patterns. It's always got something, so it's just not got just vanilla knitting. Because you've got that on the uh, bottom of the sock anyway. But yeah, gorgeous. Really enjoyed that rounded toe. They really pop in that colour as well. Yeah, the texture. Yeah, brilliant pattern. But yeah, so fun, and you could easily remember the repeats. I can't remember how many repeats it was now. But yeah, you can That's remember good as well. It. So you haven't got to keep. You haven't checking got to keep the pattern. checking the pattern. No. Fun. Such a fun sock. But yeah, I will get that one. Cast on today. That's good though, I like one. the way you knit socks because you're not in any rush. You're happy to knit one and then yeah. knit the other. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> I still haven't knit the second one of that one, that one, or that one. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't, but I do. I It's because I get too excited. When I see a new pattern, I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And I'm like, oh, you still got that one to finish yet. But no, but I love that. I'm you not don't let it stop you. No, 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 definitely not. No. And that's definitely your favourite not. thing, isn't it, as well? Yeah, socks. I love socks. Love doing the socks. So yeah, and I love the um, West Yorkshire Spinners. It's so nice, especially the plain. There's not a lot of plain, don't think, in the... No, maybe ten, yeah. eight, but gorgeous colour. Beautiful, and that's the cardamom. So yeah, I, I don't know whether I've got the uh, visible. I'll just show the label quick. Not very professional here. I never there you go. Either. Signature four ply. And actually, I've started 75% wool, 25% nylon. Nice. I've actually started, um, oh. so the lovely Anne from Wood and Knots reached out to us and offered to give a pattern prize for our cow. Yeah. Wool and Wishes. Hands and feet cow. Yeah. That we've got going at the moment. I'll put the hashtag at the bottom. And and then kindly said we could pick um, a pattern. So we couldn't decide no. between the rusty socks or um, rusty cow. Yeah. And Anne kindly gifted us both. both. So last night I cast on the oh. rusty socks. Is that the cardamom? That's the cardamom. Oh my. Yeah. Oh and actually, it's I I ordered this because when you showed that as a you whip, I was like, yeah. "That's my favourite colour." Yeah, it's so nice. So the cardamom, where shorts has been is, and then I, for the contrast, I'm using hydrangea, where shorts has been is. Oh right. Yeah, it's hydrangea. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So I started this last night. Obviously, we did the colour work on the lempy. Yeah. Socks. But that was just a panel. These are a full colour work mm. sock and I've I'll never... put a picture in actually yeah. of the um finished sock. And actually at the end see. we'll show some more 
of Anne's patterns. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. It will be a prize that people can pick from. Yeah. And. Uh, oh, I love that. Yeah. So it's colour work all the way down the sock with these different panels of different stitch patterns. And obviously I love that. It's so nice. Oh, I can't wait to start the cowl. So, uh, yeah, I did the cuff. I think I did about there last night and I did this bit this morning. So, again, easy to remember repeats. But and I you want to get back, you want to start the next colour. Yeah. So you just carry uh, the next uh, chart. Yes. I love that. I love the colours in you the... You chose the right colours. Well, I love the colours in the pattern and I didn't have two... Con I didn't have a cream to go with the orange. I do like yeah. the colours. See, I've actually got the... Just uh, Rust. I haven't got the Just Rust. I need to get the Just Rust. I'll get that. You've got the Contrast. I've got the Contrast. I think I might have the Just Rust. Oh, no. I Not in a... Tannery. I put Bird Street. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I do need to get one and get some of those, but oh, I can't wait. It's so exciting. When we, when I was looking through, when she said that we could choose a pattern for us as well, yeah, I was going through and I was like, oh, she's got so many yeah, so, nice. Yeah, it was really hard to yeah. decide. But with us liking the colour work, I was just like, I sent you sent me the socks, didn't you? And then I sent you the cow, and I was like, which one should we go for? So we let her choose, and then she gave us both, bless her. But yeah, so excited. Those colours are those good done. though. And I tried it on already. Gets over the heel. So oh, and up the leg. Because I was I was worried about the tension. That's why I haven't done a full colour work sock because I was worried about yes. it it fitting. But yeah. with the needle sizes, you change needle sizes and the gauge, that's perfect. So okay. yeah, so excited. So nice. Rusty socks. My woolen knots. Brilliant. We'll link that obviously all in there. Yeah, everything will be That's in the show notes. In hair as well. What's covered in hair? Um, that the socks. My cat actually oh. sits next to me. I'm so used to it in. now with the um, dogs. Uh, so I'll do this one next. So the other day, I was same as you. I was just like, what can I cast on? I wanted to cast on something small that I could get half finished. Yeah. And I was, instead of a sock, I thought, right, I haven't done any gloves or anything. So I went on to Ravelry. These are still a bit wet, actually. And uh, just typed in fingerless um, gloves. Yep. And this one came up and it was Mitt Envy. It's got like a cable. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a cable going down the no. free pattern. Perfect. Um, Real, really quick. One day. One day. Yeah. I and mean, that's not all sitting there all day knitting. No, just a session. Just, yeah. Just knitting session. Yeah. <laughs> not all day. Um, but yeah, so nice, so quick. I had to add a repeat um, of the cable because it... Finished it was, sort of there. Yeah. Yeah. It was really... It yeah, I wanted it longer. I've got such long fingers and it come to about here. So I thought, add one more repeat. Again, another... The cable was so easy to remember and I'm loving using DPN wooden DPNs for my cable. I found that now so, so much slip easier. Off. So much easier. And you know I love a cable. But yeah, so as soon as I saw those I was like free pattern. And I I went on to the um you know where they the patterns that people have made and everyone was like oh, such projects. a quick yeah such a quick pattern so I was like yes perfect. But yeah so that was really fun. I can try it on actually just to show on your mitten blocker that you got from when you went to the last yeah, that southern was the show freshing freshing barn yeah freshing barn i wasn't sure how to what the fun <laughs> i'm not going to show it <laughs> we're terrible um on my bag wrist so now they are oh, perfect fun. perfect length Obviously, I've got to do the uh, right, so it's got a left and yeah, a right, obviously. because of the cable. Yeah, whereas the friends mitts don't, do they? You can just no. do them the same. But yeah, well, happy with those. And they were knit out of James C. Brett Funny Feet in the colour. Oh, it hasn't got a colourway. 
I'll put the shade in the um oh, okay. But I I also added the repeat because I really wanted this peach. And it I was Oh you I haven't was, got it no, yet, yeah. I was like, what? So yeah, yeah I had to get that in. I um added the rib as well because the rib was only seven rounds. So I was like, I'm I'm gonna carry on doing that the cut the not the cuff, the ribbon at the end until I get to the the peach. Yeah. So I was like, what a waste. Yeah, no, that's making the colours go to that's the yeah. that's the pop, isn't it? Yeah. So to not have I've that. I've got that in my curly Emma bag, so I thought that was quite a good match. So yeah, but no, I really like that. I love the navy with the peach. It's a good and, and the beige there with the yeah, yeah. I like the different stripe thicknesses as well. Yeah, very nice. So yeah, fun. So after I finished the chicken wrap, I was thinking about other colour work charts. And so I started looking at, um, you know, like I did with the tomato project, I started looking at rocks. I don't know why I picked these <laughs> random things, but I was looking at um, diagrams and stuff, scientific diagrams, and then designing some, some uh, charts. This is in Drops Flora. Oh, right. And... Yeah, and just playing with... So making your own charts. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. And colour combos, because I thought I could make another one of those, or a cow, or whatever, yeah. but putting charts in. I, I was looking at, for this one, this bottom chart was like underwater caves. Right. That was Love just that. sort of um, riverbeds again. Yeah. But I think they look better with the more organic shapes rather yeah. than just the squares and then there was like riverbeds and things but i was just trying to put them into simple charts and yeah so that was fun yeah love that playing around with those so i don't know if i'll use any but i got this yarn deliberately just to swatch things yeah because it's fun just playing sometimes yeah. and, and what's seeing... that that's flora yeah and a three millimeter needle I right, really yeah. like that gauge yeah, for nice. fingering colour work. On jumpers, um, sweaters and things, it's normally 3.5. Yeah. But I, I love, love the... this colour here. Yeah. So nice. I think that was petrol, maybe. Uh, no, they just have numbers, don't they? I think I'm just yeah, making it up. Yeah, I think so. Up. I didn't write the colours down. I've got, I just bought a load of Fable, so I need to go through it nice i like but yeah, that yeah just playing around and seeing but even that like if you had that in a cow yeah so nice yep or and I... your color choices again i love the browns with that works. the yeah the brown and blues so, yeah love that so nice but i practice picking up uh stitches as well for right. the edging yeah so i just did that to practice um more obviously i did it on the cow uh wrap already but you know it's so fun but yeah again i've got such a something to play with just playing around yeah love it brilliant but i prefer that uh, and this i, love I really love the underwater cave thing i'll yeah. play around with that more yeah but then i'm again struggling to get into the flow of things but so then I got that at least part. you at least see me i obviously i had a few days where i weren't doing anything yeah but i then that's it my mind switches off yeah i'm not like Oh, I look at patterns or I'll... Yeah, I had to keep on. <clears throat> I don't. I just sit there and mope. <laughs> <laughs> I can't knit. <clears throat> I mope, yeah. Can't knit. I'm bored. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and mope. It's funny, but though, because yeah. I'll knit swatches for things like this, but if a pattern, maybe it's that being a brat again. Yeah. Because you must knit a swatch. Because you're told, like, yeah. Like, yeah. But then a swatch that's for no purpose other than, well, I suppose it is for a purpose. Yeah, of course practice it is, yeah. the charts. But... The charts, the colours together. Yeah. Oh, and I suppose then I could measure that and go, oh, okay, how many stitches do I need to cast on for the cow? So. Yeah. But yeah, if you've got to do it for a pattern, I'm like, no. That. That's making me think. Because in my acquisitions. Acquisitions. Um, later, I've, I've got a stick, stitch dictionary. And again, I've been looking for it and I'm like, I'm going to make a cow, blah, blah, blah. Colours. I just cannot do, put colours together. Do, unless I YouTube, probably look. Um, 
video with like color theory because you've got the color wheel and then there's things that are opposite so it's like uh orange and blue are opposite in the right the, the contrast and obviously that brown is quite an orangey yeah brown and then green and blue are next to each other so they tell you stuff like that right yeah amazing. and then but then you just put it together because the thing is sometimes it doesn't matter if you use enough colors they all go together anyway yeah yeah but that's what stops me that's what oh, stops what, me color from combination. starting anything yeah well it's like your um hex screen card again you've just done those colors go together well so you can yeah. use it from other projects of, yeah that's what i was saying like, if look i look on yeah. other uh, other color work and then get ideas from their yeah. colors but yeah love that brilliant thank you fun uh uh this is my last half fo so i finally finished one of the oh, grannies nice. in a row by Jen Yard. Um, I am rubbish at doing magic loop on socks. Even oh, though magic loop you did. Yeah. Even though I know to pull the second stitch to stop you from getting a ladder, I always get a ladder the down ladder. the side. Always. If I do I'm so used to doing Socks on my nine inch. I pull the second stitch tight. I do the first stitch. Do you? But I also try and squish it together. I've got the other sock here still. So when I'm knitting from that one to that one, I try and lay the two parts right. flat against each other. So when I pull it round, because obviously if you've got that gap. Yeah, that's what causes Yeah, the... But I'm struggling with colour work on Magic Loop. As you can see that there's baggy. But I thought I'd rather it be loose on colour work than yeah, too tight. Definitely. But yeah, yeah, you normally use nine inch yeah, circulars. It yeah. just and I've blocked these as well. I've so because I thought oh if I block it it might come out. You won't notice. No, yeah. Unless anyone's staring at my feet and Yeah. But yeah, so love those. And that that is uh Dragon Hill Studio. Their Unravel 15 colour. And then I knit, uh, crocheted the grannies out of the Bird Street advent. Oh, yeah, with the leftovers. Yeah, so I've just got to do the other one now. Um, They're fun. I've done the uh, grannies, but I've just not put them together. But again, fun. I love those. I need to finish, I definitely need to finish these ones well. There's, as well. there's so many um, interesting colour combinations for those that people oh, put yeah. together. Oh, yeah, the neon. Yeah. Love the neon and i've got yana's yes yes from um finish uh, finish knit. Knit, yeah they are yeah great so yeah i would like to do that but yeah i, I absolutely love these brilliant very cool all right that's my finished half objects so obviously i showed the oh crinkling sorry I showed the handspan last time for the Burgos vest by Rosa Palmer that I'm knitting for my mum and I started the back panel. So I've done that. I'm supposed to put these stitches on hold now yeah, and then pick up here for the shoulder. Shoulder. <laughs> yeah, well, what is it called? <laughs> Straps on one side. <laughs> And yeah. then I'll do the other side. But that was really quick as well. So what am I, what am I, I using? I absolutely love those colours. Five millimetre. Oh. But yeah, so they were the bats that I blended together of colours. My mum wears a lot of autumnal colours and things. This is going to really suit her. Yeah. And I've got till the 30th of September. Yeah. To get it done. So I'm not rushing because actually this is quite a quick knit. Yeah um it's got like little bits of purple as well in it look yeah that was from a bat that i got from the yarn shop i forgot what it's called now in petersfield and so i had a little bit of that left do you remember we went on holiday and i was spinning out a drop spindle oh yeah it was half of that and so that went into here as well it's got sparkle yeah that's the only thing i should show it actually if you can see it has these bits of nylon 
that were in was in BFL. And oh, it's not just, sparkle. <laughs> no, well, just, I mean, I think some of the like sparkle, sparkle with, is nylon yeah. as well. But here's another oh, yeah. strand of it. I don't know. Shake yeah, that on the black. Look. And so, and it was only a little bit that I mixed in. That's quite annoying. I will never spin with this stuff again. Right. But it's in there now. Yeah. So it's a bit of sparkle. All my mum can sit there just pulling bits of it out. But it doesn't, I can't get it to stay spun in right. very well yeah. when it sticks out. But I mean, it's like a... That's going to be beautiful. But yeah. So nice. So I'm just, I'm just not taking my time with it because I've still got, I've still got a while. Yeah. To get that done. And like I said, they want to get it where I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Although I get to the 15th, he'll be like, oh, 15th of September, he'll be like, oh no. Yeah. And then, I'm, and then I'll be like, I've got to get it finished. But yeah, so there's all the, all the yarn. But I got enough. Um, I got more than enough. Yeah. For the pattern, so that's good. And that's I'm, good. yeah, knitting it in there. I think the fourth size. All right, okay. So, and I need to make it a little bit longer as well. Mum said she wanted a couple more inches. Then on mine, when tried on mine, a little bit bigger. Right. So. Brilliant. All right. Uh, whip. Oh. So, I cast on another beginner's cardigan by Benja Kirk in white because uh, Hudson didn't have any plain white cardigans to go with some of the outfits that he had. Yeah. But seeing him now, <laughs> he's grown so big that I think this might have to be for the next the next grandchild. grandchild. Not that there's one on the way at the moment. No. But, yeah. Um, and this is just out of Drops Baby Merino. Oh, that's nice. It might fit him once it's blocked and it won't fit him for long. No. He's getting so big, bless him. Um, yeah, I've just got to do the sleeves, which will take an evening yeah. to do. So it's nearly that's finished. That's lovely. Um, it's, it always folds up on itself because of the... You can't actually see Oh, you the... haven't put the... Oh, it has got it. It has got the button band, yeah. But once it's blocked, it. That's cute. But I do love Drops Baby Merino. It's really soft. It the even like your stitches though. It's a really round yarn. Yeah, it's so nice. So yeah, hopefully I'll get this finished for him, and it might fit him for a week. <laughs> the way he's going, it's just getting so big. Bless him. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really say about that. Cute. But yeah, I do like this pattern. This is, oh no, did I? I went up a needle size. Okay. From the last one I knit him because I thought oh he might be, but still, it's still not. I don't know. It might just be my eyes because then when I go around there, I'm just like oh you are still quite small. It might fit you, but but you'd have liked to have more growing room. Grow, in it. Yeah, like be able to fold the sleeves and yeah. But I'm sure they'll put it away for. Or give it back and I'll put it away for next grandchild. But yeah, that was... I've used two. So now this is the second full. Yeah, to do grams. the sleeves. So hardly... Don't take up hardly any. No. It's really good for gift knitting. Um, the drops merino. The big yeah. merino and the baby. Yes. Because it's so soft that pe anyone can wear it. Yeah. Whereas obviously sometimes you might give you something. Might. Bird Street bag it's another one of my favorite bags but yeah that's that was a quick knit bum right i decided this is not very exciting this but when i ordered this because i had some birthday money and i ordered different colors of the drops flora yeah i also thought i would try some of the drops paris cotton oh which is an aran um Aaron weight, I think. And my mum really likes, oh no, I've spoiled the surprise for my mum. <laughs> Turn up. Yeah, look away. Look away. <laughs> I thought I'd just make some dishcloths as well, because again, just something simple. Um, 
this is the dish cloth recipe by Robin West. So I got different, I got all the different yellows. Yeah. So I've done this oh, one. Um, my mum loves these That's and actually, yeah, color. the mustard. Love that. Loves these and actually uses them as well. So I've got those and... They're a good Christmas gift. Yes. And I'm working on the fourth. And I've actually got quite a lot still. These were 50 grams. Right. So then I'll make stripy ones. Yeah. Afterwards Brilliant. with yes. the leftovers. But these are, the pattern's so easy, easy to remember. Cotton, so if it's too hot, yeah, just something to knit on, you know, if you're waiting anywhere, yeah. Um, and if you mess up, it's low, it's low stakes, isn't it? It's not yeah. like um, no. you're knitting lace and you get yeah. uh, a lace shawl and you've dropped stitches or whatever, you can just brilliant. So, yeah, yeah. I really must do. I've got quite a bit of cotton, not uh, drops. Um, that's a good idea to make dishcloths. But I did it in four millimetre needles. This is a free pattern as well. Four millimetre needles and Aran weight. So they're nice, um, tight gauge. That's brilliant. That's such a good idea. I really must do some dish cloths. I love that. That's so good. And obviously it's a mindless. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, you know, I was really struggling with my mojo. And again, I just thought, but I want to be knitting. Yeah. Even if I don't know what I'm knitting or yeah. whatever, I just want to be, yeah. you know, using my hands. No, that's a brilliant idea. But that was all the different yellows that they sell. So I just... In the Paris. And it's yeah. not. It feels, like, feels good. Yeah. Feels good. But you could use these like um, washcloths as well instead of yeah. dishcloths. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. So yeah, something cows. I love that. And I think that's... That's all my, all my whips. Although I've worked on other things, but they're things I've shown a few times already. Yeah, the same as me. That's. I um. I need to get one. Ball of Chariz drops charisma, for Hudson's jumper. What color? Navy. It's the navy. Uh. Um. But yeah, every time I go into a warehouse, I'm like, well, you can't just order one. That yeah. That's why I got that as well. That's a good idea. Although I think they've put up to thirty pounds now. Thirty Is pounds it? for the free postage. Yeah. That's not good. Although that they I think that was eighty P for those Oh. Cotton. Yeah. That's good. But obviously then you've got to, the thing is you just gotta remember, haven't you, when you put the order in, how much like, if there's extra needles you need or Yeah. Yeah. Which I probably do. Although I like the child groom and they don't do that there. Or warehouse, no, I don't think. Right, um, what have I got now? Oh, I'll, I'll show you this quickly. So, this is the start of the Ramo Ramona. Is it the Ramona cardigan? Yes, Ramona cardigan Love by Elizabeth Smith. Um, yes, is this, this is the tweed I, you were talking this about. This is the one I was going to use. I've I've not really done much. I've not even split the sleeves or anything yet. Just on the um increases. But the raglan increases. It's really nice. I remember you saying about your make one left and make one right. Yeah. On your was that on your one of those? Yes, that one's Yeah, and yeah, mine's the same. Yeah, one ends up tighter because yeah. it's the pearl after or before. Yeah. Quite itchy nose. But yeah, I love the colours in this. Fun nets. Yeah. I'll put a picture of the finished cardigan. cardigan just so you can see because obviously you can't really see much. I've only done a little bit of it. But yeah, this is knit out of throwing it on the floor. Uh Hayfield bonus Aaron Tweed and it is a twenty percent wool blend. So 74% acrylic, 20% wool, and 6% viscose. Viscose? Viscose. And that viscose. will be the neps. I've actually yes. started noticing this. Right. That any yarn that has neps in, they end up being the neps of the viscose. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. So. 
but yeah this come in like a big yeah, thing and I, had, I just i took 200 grams of it and uh well, done my own ball yeah. because have you have you ever tried using a whole uh, yeah no i won't it literally like yeah it just get so i tangled. just done 200 and then i've got another 200 to wind i love that but yeah i can't remember i think this was i think zach got me this for my birthday i think there's something like 9.99 it's a, again this is a really nice round yarn plump yeah yeah i thought it's going to be nice as a cardigan yeah be lovely as a cardigan yeah another garment well who am i yeah all these garments <laughs> all i think it was as garments. soon as you said i'm not really a garment now I and now i've started yeah again <laughs> that's my that's my brat yeah. yes you are you can yeah. do it so just do <laughs> <Yeah>. it <laughs> when you want to do it yes not when you're told to do it that's the main thing isn't yeah. it yeah. i actually just remembered i've got another Wait. oh have you yeah i've forgotten about it so i think i showed this last time and it's the cecile top by suzanne muller i hadn't joined in the round i don't think last time i've got this far now i think Again, for my size color. if you hold it there and stretch it a little bit yeah so it'll be yeah that's more yeah. like how it will look really Ooh. clever shaping um shaping the rib at the same time you know doing yeah. the shaping the only thing about this this is a wool cone 200 gram wool cone from woolly knit it's their sock yarn nylon wool i for some reason i think it's it's a high amount of nylon right so it's it doesn't it, it's, it's soft enough it's just very high twist and yeah. not much um i don't know i know what you mean because i'm like it with those my sock ones yeah i tried to knit oh you've got a lot yes. there yeah are it's they the, is that the same that's the same yeah oh, it's the same yeah it's the same yarn and i thought it feels more like a cotton i tried to, to do the sock yeah couldn't. and i tried to do a mitten and i couldn't no i love their british 500 gram cones the yeah. british wool ones although this, it feels all right yeah i it thought feels... it feels similar to cotton yeah it will be nice to wear it won't be rough it feels It'll soft be nice enough and yeah it will it's just i don't know what it is about this this was this was making me not want to knit i got rough hands yeah from i like my hat my fingers felt yeah really rough and i've got two more of these as well but i've just got to keep going yeah it's gonna be it will be it's brilliant. three millimeter needles as well so it just seems to be going on forever maybe yeah. it's just because it's the one color and again that's why i stopped as well and i just started doing them embroideries because yeah. i'm just like i just want yeah so i just want rainbows yeah now i found that with this when i got to the stockinette part i was just like mm. you're a little bit yeah it's hard and that... because you're only on three yeah. millimeter needles it takes, it takes you don't feel like you're getting anywhere do you no but hopefully I'll that's get gonna it... be nice you haven't yeah. got that much i'll wear it loads it's it's like my champagne cardigan yeah i'll wear this all the time yeah just hopefully i'll finish it before the summer's over but i thought i think I'd show. you will i think you will you're you've done most of it yeah you've just got literally... oh, just round around yeah. now so it's a mindless project now and the instructions were really clear really clever i love the way the shaping's done it's a uh, really well written yeah pattern no, just not that's... not the right not the right yarn i love the color yeah not the right I, I need to think of something that i can do I think they're market bags. You know the market bags. I was thinking with the other ones, crochet. That's might be idea. good for crochet. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe other people have got on with it. Yeah. This yarn. I just expected it to be similar to the, the British wool cones, which yeah. I love. Yeah. I, I think I've got a British wool cone as well, actually, in the grey. Yeah, the five hundred gram ones. Yeah. That's really nice yarn. Yeah. Right. Sorry, we were looking up there. You All the things. See yeah. There's above the. There's cones. <laughs> the shelf. But yeah, um, right. So this is my last one, I think. Um, so Stephen, I ju jumped on the bandwagon of doing the uh, secret. Yeah, summer. the surprise. Uh, what? Was it? Oh, sorry. Oh, I just surprise sock along. Surprise Contrast sock. blast sock. Um, so it's a spoiler to clue one and clue two so if you don't want to see 
I mean, skip. Yes. Yeah, skip. Or oh, close your eyes. Oh, close your eyes. Yeah, just don't look <laughs> as I show it. Um, so yeah, I've never done any of Stephen West's uh, like shawl alongs or anything like that. Yeah, the mystery ones. The mystery ones. But I thought sock. That's me. Yeah. That's me. I can do a sock. I can do that. So I thought definitely go for it. So you had to choose contrast colours. And I chose Blue Fern Yarns um, Platinum Sock in the colourway Mulberry. Gorgeous. And this one is Craft House Magic Like a Virgin Undyed. Yep. And I thought that's perfect. That will be a yeah. perfect. Obviously, we didn't know what it was going to be, or. And I was, but again, I'm like, hmm. Am I gonna? I'm getting, being told when I've got to do. And, oh yeah. <laughs> am I gonna do it? And I did, and I have so far. So there's only two more clues to go. I think I'll do it. I've not done both socks. No. I think I will probably do the other sock once I've finished this. Once the, the, it's over. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I watched the video. It said you can do. There's a left and a right. Yeah. Yeah. And the only reason I haven't is because I didn't wind off. I should have done 50 grams of each, wound them up, and then I, I would have definitely had enough time to do both socks. Yeah. So I am a bit annoyed with myself, actually, for not doing that, because I probably would have carried on and done it. Right, so I'm going to show you the sock now for clue one and two. Oh. oh. So... You've got a rib with like a cable that comes off the cables. And then uh so it's it's like slip stitches. Yeah. So it's it's so it's fun. It's gorgeous. So fun. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, look the at hill. the hill so much fun it's so fun so fun i can't wait so when what's the day today tuesday two more days until the next but how fun is that That's now gorgeous. these you could um it had another repeat yeah but i don't like socks that are really and he says that in there you can just do you could do four you could do six i've done six um and then it goes obviously to eight but i was like if I do another reaper, that's quite a long. I think it with long sock. socks, you've got to be careful because your calf gets bigger, doesn't yeah. it? So it's yeah. got also if it yeah. fits. But I love that hill. That's yeah, beautiful. So much fun. I'm loving, absolutely loving. I I've watched the tutorials. I I I'm yeah not doing the knit up. Yeah, I you still watch. I still watch. I love yeah. his videos though. Yeah. He's so enthusiastic, isn't he? Yeah. I just like watching what he's doing, what he, how he says, uh, talks about the the yarns and the colours. He's so. I yeah, love he has him. his little sayings as yeah. well that go along with it. Yeah. But yeah, this is so fun. Wow. Really fun, and I think I chose the right colours. Yeah, definitely. Massive contrast. Yeah, and the fact that he does the video, you're never going to have any trouble. No. Because he literally goes through the whole thing with you. Yeah, it looks quite good on there, doesn't it? I love, yeah. Yeah. Showing things on the screen. See how good they look. Yeah, and again, I'm doing them on, I mean, he says DPNs or Magic Loop. I'm doing them on my nine inch circulars. I hope that doesn't become a problem in the sock. Oh, I'm sure it won't. But yeah. Gorgeous. So much fun. That is fun. But I, I think I'll do the uh, next one. You know what I'm like. Oh, well, do the one sock yeah. and then you can put and it on. And then I'll put it on my wall. And it'll be... <laughs> You've all seen it. End of. <laughs> but it, no. You do what you want, isn't it? It's yeah. like your sort of knitting. Yeah. But no, I've actually enjoyed the stitch. Yes. It's it's exciting. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's all the different changes and having those. Yeah. You can't, you know, you can't get bored because no. there's something else that happens. Yeah. And a sock. It's a lot easier yeah. than a shawl where they, they get bigger and bigger each row, yeah. don't they? Yeah. So, obviously, the K 
cow what a wishes yep. hands and feet cow on instagram has been going really well yes it's been lovely looking at everybody's socks lots of socks knitted and gloves and things yeah although i did want to say that instagram has changed something so when you go on the hashtag before you'd have recent top which is the the most popular yeah you know they've got the most likes yeah and they've, they've had an update so now you don't have that recent no because i used to click on the recent to and check i hadn't missed who's... anyone yeah and so if we've missed um we do and... comment we like to look at all the pictures and yeah. comment don't we so if we have missed you we will go tag it's, us in the comment us, or yeah. tag us in the um it comments as well so long so it... to go through and because you can be going through sorry i'm overtaking no it. that's fine you could be going through the um socks and then you halfway through there's like three or four that you've not seen or not liked seen, or yeah so if we haven't seen yours we do want to see them and yeah if you can tag us yeah. if you haven't seen them but you'll still be in the draw oh, we yeah, just yeah, like to yeah. we just like to comment and and see what and you're... see what you've done yeah. but it's been amazing looking through everybody's <sighs> so many beautiful yeah. sock patterns there is um and linda simpson from linda simpson designs, designs podcast channel go and check her out i yeah. think we've mentioned her before yeah I think so. um has interviews and stuff as well but she yeah. kindly sent us some prizes yes for the giveaway so we've got this one how beautiful is that oh goes with my nails <laughs> that's like minis with that a is, 50 gram yeah it's fingering weight full skein is 100 grams oh, wow and uh three, three 20 grams oh wow and they're co Mini coordinating skin. with the speckles yeah. in that's rose hill Rose Hill Yarns. Gorgeous. I want to win that one. <laughs> you can't. Oh. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Like, yeah. So nice. And then Ducky Darlings. We love Ducky Darlings. Yeah. Um, and this one is... Where has it not got a name? Oh, Wonderland. It was in the right. basket show. <laughs> How big is that? Wonderland. <laughs> okay. I should have my glasses on. But yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. So nice. With the contrast as well. So yeah. So Linda's also, thank you, Linda, has kindly so kind. offered um her new sock pattern. pattern. Her new sock pattern, which is called the Trophimus Socks. Put some pictures here. Put a picture there. Lovely texture. Beautiful. On so that can be I'm getting confused. So she's so whoever wins this yarn gets her pattern as well whoever wins this yarn gets her pattern as well, well that's, lovely. that's so kind so kind and i think that's her first sock pattern as well i think it Linda, is yeah. so congratulations yeah, so congratulations that's amazing it's exciting yeah it is so so yeah it's been uh been amazing the amount really of has. um people who've entered we've had email entries as well so yeah if you're not on instagram you send us an email, yeah. which you'll find in the description box, and then we'll put a picture of it on Instagram. And we're, we're just putting that on our Instagram at the moment, yeah. and it will, and we tag the. Yeah. So the if that so comes out on, on the draw, then we know, we know. who yeah. that was. So that's been it's been so much fun. Yes, yeah, so, so much fun, and we've got so many prizes. Oh yeah, all the all the we've got patterns. We've got the kind people who sent prizes as well. It's just been. I oh, mean, when amazing. we started it, we didn't think. No. it'd be as big no, but it's been lovely not. seeing oh, it we de definitely didn't expect people to send us no prizes we would just find go, prizes yes. and go through ours or yeah buy something at the yarn show but yeah amazing so it amazing so, so nice lovely. so yeah we have loads of prizes to give away for this yeah brilliant fantastic so don't forget you can still enter until yeah, the 30th of september 30th of september oh, well, that's the end of september and actually, we'll probably put up a separate video. Oh, yeah, when we do the... And then we'll also post about that on Instagram to tell you to check out the video. So if you've won, then you can contact us yeah. on Instagram. But we'll talk about that later. Still got to the 30th. And all the rules, we've got a post on our Instagram as well that explains all the rules, which really, there, there aren't any, any, any rules, hands and really. feet, yeah. whips, yeah, double dipping, have fun, yeah. basically. 
So yeah, I was going to mention, so Martin from Knit365 blog, yeah, he's got a podcast that he does wrap ups and does knitting and crochet. He's been doing a lot of Amiga Rumi, the Toft. Yeah, he does the Toft. The yeah, Toft the women ones as well. But he's recently started a new series, which is From Sheep to Skeen. So you've got episode one and two up at the moment. And the first episode is him meeting the sheep. So he's gone to a farm. I can't remember what farm it is, somewhere in Wales. I've not seen it. How uh, have I not seen it come up? Yes. So he's gone to meet all the sheep and talk to the shepherdess oh, there. Wow. And then the second one is shearing the sheep. And then there's going to be a third one, which is going to the mill and having the fleece i was oh, spun into yarn and then the fourth one which that so the third and the fourth aren't out yet right which is then dyeing the yarn oh how exciting yeah really fun so you should go and check yeah that out as well i will yeah because <laughs> why have i missed that i don't know i'm subscribed i don't, don't know. know sometimes things don't come up do they yeah. i'm noticing that yeah. again with a lot of things on instagram i'm missing yeah i but. am and it was only when was it uh a couple of days ago that i forgot that if you if you press the Instagram sign, it then comes up following. And if you press your following, then you see... Only who you're following. Who you're following. But really? I hadn't been doing that. So I'm just seeing a load of random things. And I'm going through and I'm like... Who oh, are these? Yeah, what are these? I mean, it's good because yeah. I do do that anyway. But yes. I'm not seeing... I'm missing all the people that I'm actually following. So I've just gone... I've just remembered and started going through and liking people's... So I'm not seeing stuff. I'm not seeing... Oh, you'd have to show me before I go yeah, how you do I will. that. Little bit left, should we acquisitions? Yeah, I've only got one. I've got book two. Yeah. So um I said last time I'd ordered some books from second hand from World of Books for my birthday. And I got a few, but I thought I'll talk about them when I use them. Yeah. But there's this first one which is um pop knitting by Britt Marie Christofferson. So I love the fun of that. So That's this amazing. is like a stitch dictionary and it has, um, let me see if I can, I'll try and uh, cover, the <laughs> cover the details, but it has these full page. Um, oh, wow. Before I already started adapting that one there, full page. Uh, of the stitch patterns but the cool thing is it's in here so it's giving you the directions for these two stitch patterns yeah so the theory of making the things and then where are we oh it's got a few actually I've got this one as well so it's taking the same theory and then where are we here and so these and then it has these and then it says kind of do what you did before but change that color for this color and do it for four rows right which could sound confusing if you just look at that yeah and you hadn't actually knit a swatch from the other ones you You're, maybe wouldn't yeah. know but i think it's brilliant because it's encouraging you to play it's encouraging yeah. you to say okay if i do this and this then what happens yeah and so i made a couple of swatches again with the drops flora and this was like really interesting it was knit and pearl rose but it's it kind of looks like gar garter stitch at first glance but it's not yeah um and then i did a bit of vintage and so this was the same but then doing stockinette blocks in between yeah and already that's not there's not a pattern for this the, the pattern was um that right and so i did the same thing but um alternated so then it's like a checkerboard um, let me show you quickly some of the let me get further on in the book oh wow you know it's really crazy stitch patterns i'll tell you i'll show you some of the things on the back really so unusual yeah. stitch like patterns. it really is yeah so i thought that's fun to have a play with yeah and again making your cows or yes yeah 
perfect. And I've got the swatches there. I could just measure that and go, yeah. well, how many do I need for a cow? Yeah. And go for it. Yeah. But for some reason, I run out of, I <laughs> still run out of mojo, but little bits. But little bits, yeah, that's it. One to at one point, you're going to go, I'm doing that now. Yeah, and the good thing about these types of books is really it's like a workshop in a book. And if you just take time and go through it. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Like weaving with strips of me. Yeah, that's exciting. Fun. But that will be Britt Marie Christopherson, hot knitting. Brilliant. So I was looking for stitch dictionaries because, I, again, I was thinking the same. I will. Uh, make a cow with textures and that's how i i thought this book was just textures but it's not it is color work as well so i ordered the vogue knitting the ultimate stitch dictionary um it's amazing it's absolutely amazing i don't know whether i'm gonna my wrist is <laughs> oh. as i'm holding this hold on i'm not i should be able to do it uh oh i've been able to show it yeah without showing you can do a flash pick a oh, page look. if you pick a page and do a flash that's like color work um but this has got like cables and it literally shows you so you could put them into socks yes because it's got the stitch count multiple of 14 plus two or whatever you can work out how many so I've, I, what I've been doing, I don't know whether I've, whether I can find any. I've been going through, so I've been saying like 120 stitches or 100 stitches. Yeah. And then going through and just seeing, marking all the patterns that I could use with 100 stitches. 100 stitches. Is that for, for a, a cow. cow? Like, you know, like the litmus cow. Yeah. Like that. Um, a tubular. A tubular cow. And I'm thinking, what's that? That, what a, that, what a great idea yeah. and then just all different textures all different textures all different colors all different textures perfect so i will do one at one point it's been fun going through and realizing what i mean look the colors yeah what you can do what you can do it's better me. when they've got charts because if you're doing it in the round yeah. Then you can read the charts. You can read the charts, yeah. Because sometimes if it's the description, and then you have to think. I think all of them have got the chart. Yeah. All of them have got a chart as well as... But with socks, just say you've got a 64 stitch sock. Yeah. So the front panel's 32. And then if you took 15 stitches in the middle, and yeah. that would give you eight either side. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Nine either side. Yeah. Uh, don't ask me maths. 15. <laughs> Anyway, you divide some stitches either side, you take your stitches in the middle. Yeah, and then you can just do a... And then do a um, panel. Panel of... That you found of a stitch pattern yeah. you like in... Uh, and obviously, you'd have to do a little bit and then try it on over your yeah. heel mm. to check that the, the gauge is right. Because a cable will pull the stitches in, yeah. so it will make it tighter. Yeah. Lace will make it baggier. Yes. So you might need to change your needle, needle size. If you... You know, you can if you swatch first, then obviously the whole thing's easier anyway. If you're that type of person who yeah. wants to swatch, it doesn't want to kind yeah. of cast on a sock and go for it. Yeah, but I do. I think every knitter should have a stitch yeah. dictionary. They're my favourite type of knitting books. Yeah, and I hadn't. I didn't have any. Oh, look, look at, at these the trees. Oh, I can yeah. flash that. <laughs> you can't really flash it because it's a. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, I see these motifs. The snowflakes. I think it's brilliant. Really, really brilliant. Oh, yeah, you can see, like, I've put... Oh, there are sticky notes on sticky the pages. sticky notes on the pages of what patterns. But yeah, how exciting. How exciting. And then you can even adapt the... Yeah, you can adapt the charts. The charts. And that's what I'm saying is I think I really like about this book is it's encouraging you to adapt... What? I am literally charts. having a heart attack. What? He's looking through the window. I thought, who on earth? <sighs> Nathan's looking through yeah, the window. My the husband's window's just literally there. just got his face up against the window. <laughs> my heart is literally pounding. <laughs> He's normally at work, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> my heart is actually pounding now. <sighs> <I've gone off. laughs> Sorry. That's all right. But that, 
that's what's good about this one because it encourages you it doesn't give you all the details it teaches you what to do and then it says oh, oh you could do this 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 yeah. or this yeah and then you play yeah whereas this is just giving you the 800 it said as well didn't it 800 yeah, charts. 800 800 chart stitch patterns it's amazing how many stitch patterns there are but this was second hand yeah yeah this was I, can't, I think it was just i just typed in stitch dictionary and then i went on a site and uh it come up with second hand books yeah that's what that was well i think books. i paid 13 pound for a 40 pound book brilliant so you can find them out there yeah love all those textures yeah but again if you just want to sit there and do some swatches and see how things turn out yeah just just get, get your ideas. get it out and have a have a go i'm well happy with that I'm, i will exciting yeah as much as i've always said oh no i can't do that when you get something like that, it makes you realise, actually, yeah, it's not as hard as what you think it's going to be no. to to put a stitch pattern into something. Yeah, something that you already know works for you as well. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it. Is that all we... Oh, no, I need to say about the... Um, the lady last time, the bee. Yes. So, I showed a few weeks, a few episodes ago the be creative mittens i'll put them in here that i want to knit i have still haven't started but i will <laughs> um and i saw um a lovely lady uh kim from australia she has made she's done the mittens, mittens already because she saw them advertised on our podcast um and then she also made a cow to go with it so i'm gonna i asked permission to put her picture in here and i will put it in here of the mittens and the cow um i think she made it was either for her sister or a friend um but she got she took again she's taken tracy miller's uh wild rose cow i think it's called did i write it down no i just put her cow um and then she's swapped the she's chart. taken the, the gauge from the cow and the count the stitch count and then inserted, inserted the b chart. creative chart which is amazing when yeah. i saw it i was like oh, that is brilliant love so i'll put the picture in i that was an didn't... entry wasn't it for the yeah it's an for entry. the yeah, it's an entry. so yeah how amazing is that Fun. so i thought i've got to, i've got to show it off i know people on instagram can see it but some people haven't got instagram so i amazing. thought i'd show that off i love that yeah really really fun inspired you to go oh really, I really well do yeah that. it did but i still haven't started but again it's because i can't think of the colors go for that it that i want just go for, just go for it just lucky dip yeah and the thing is if you don't like the colors you'll know someone who does like the colors and you'll yeah. learn something from each of the projects you know yeah. sometimes colors uh go really well together other times you're like mm, i don't know but other people will say that, i yeah. love those colors just depends yeah but yeah just go for it so, oh, I'm going off screen again. Yeah, Hello. I, I'm glad she's on wheels because I can just pull her along. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us today. It's been lovely um, chatting to you. And we will catch you again in probably four weeks time. Yeah, it will be about four weeks yeah, time. Yeah, Because we time. are going to, oh no, we're going to the Southern, southern, Walsh, southern Walsh. Oh yeah, Walsh. We'll, we'll quickly say that. Oh, come on, Even though we've done the, the ending. Yeah, we are going to the Southern Wall Show on the second and third second and third of september of september so we're going both days because then we get time to sit and chat and yes. knit because we know a couple of people are podcasters well, yeah. nancy wheeler's coming down from canada yeah knit sip happy yeah so we're going to meet up with and hopefully her. mandy from mouse's mates yeah i think she, yeah, Sunday. i'm pretty sure she said she was coming on the sunday so if you are going to the southern world oh, show yeah, let us know let us know in the comments below because we'll we'll probably be there all day yeah and uh you'll probably find us sat down knitting somewhere definitely yeah yeah but it'd be lovely to meet other people wouldn't it and yeah. chat do and... come up and say hello if yeah you're there, but i we'll... mean we are awkward as well i know nancy says she's like awkward yeah we we, we are as well but we yeah we'd love to we'd love to chat chat and see what you're getting yeah. talk about what you're making yeah meet you all so yeah that's it. End of. Oh, so we'll see you again next time. Yep. Yeah.
about four weeks. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.